Hey girl, hey, and welcome to my own damn show. My name is Emily, but you can call me Ems. And today, I have my precious This box has been in customs for 11 days. Plus two days to get to me from Toronto. But holy crap, this didn't take at any time at all to get from Korea to here because I thought I got the EMS shipping um, so it took like three days to get from Korea to Canada and then it just sat in the Toronto airport waiting for customs for like 11 days and then finally it released and from customs and I got it and I'm happy now the pretty much anybody who's seen me uh, <laughs> On Amino, both Gothic Amino and Lolita Amino, plus any of my friends, they're just like, could you stop saying customs? Uh, <laughs> so, let's dig in. I'm so excited. The moment I saw that she released a print for Story You Don't Know, I was like, yes, Emily does the kneading. Perfectly grammatically incorrect as as it was. <laughs> there we go. And also, can I say this box quality has increased a lot. I like this one. I mean, it's still the stickers, but this maroon box is awesome. Kind of just adds a little extra something. It's kind of cute. Why did I choose the crappy scissors in my house? I'm a crafter, I've got about five pairs, and yet I chose these stupid gingerbread ones. Eee! So, so excited. Alright, so right on top, we have... Oh, information for exchange, etc. That usually is on a piece of paper, but now it's on this lovely little magazine print thing with the little Nunu duck in the background. That's so cute. <laughs> Although information on return, it says information on turn, but that's all right. All right. So on the side here, we have our little postcard that I like to put up by my doorway over there. You can't see it. Um, let's see if I can show, oh no, I've got a lot of mess in my room, I'm not gonna show you. Uh, but we've got some gorgeous dresses. What print is this? What print is this? Did I miss something? Cause this print looks cool. Does this like, did I miss a print release, or is this coming out soon? Did I miss something? A story you don't know. Uh, in black, story you don't know in the purple color. And then, oh, like, like, I just call this the Oreo dress. It reminds me of Oreos for some reason. What's this one? I can't tell what this one is. And this one has owls on it. And I don't remember that dress either. So these might be some upcoming releases or something. But I don't recognize the prints. Maybe I've been not getting my notifications, but. All right. So at the bottom is my dress. It's in this mint package that says, Hey, New Leaf, the Lola, la la the Lolita Fashion Shop. This is the first time I got a JSK from Hey, New Leaf. So I'm kind of very excited about this. <laughs> ah, it's so pretty! Boop, boop, boop. It looks kind of purple in this light, but I can tell it's the blue one on camera. Ah, look at the look at the print so I was gonna get the black when I first saw this print because I saw the black one and I was like that is so gothic I love it and I need it 
But then I saw the blue one, and I have so much navy in my Lolita closet that I'm kind of interested in kind of working with navy in Gothic Lolita. And I got the one with the rib cage on the bust area. Oh, I'm so excited. I just want to touch it with my hands. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. It's so beautiful. So there's our bus. It seems like there's plenty of room in the chest, so I'm hoping this will fit without a sports bra because it was a little bit small on the measurements. But hey Newly's shirring is usually pretty good. Um I might completely remove this back lacing. I'm not sure yet. I'm definitely going to loosen this up quite a bit at least for trying it on. Oh yeah, this is a lot of stretch. It looks so blue on camera, but it's more navy in person. Oh yeah, plenty of stretch. And that's not an ugly looking shirring either. A lot of shirrings can be kind of ugly, but this one's quite nice. So this is the back with the lace up and the shirring. We have the tag with an extra button here because there is adjustable straps with three buttons. Wow. So the straps come off like this and it's got three spots that they can adjust to. And it's crisscrossed in the back. So it's crossed over here. Like so. Crossed like that. And then in the front we have our detail here with the um, uh, rib cage. But then we have these four ribbons, and that's because it looks like a pentacle when tied properly. Problem is, I'm not really sure how to tie this. I'm thinking, hmm, maybe over like that and then crossing these ones. Yeah, I think it's crossing these. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. So you cross the wide ones, and then you leave the front ones normal, and it makes a pentacle on your chest like that. That's cool. And you can leave it under as well. So if you don't want the pentacle part, you can tuck these ribbons in, and it will just have this little ribbon coming across like that. So you can kind of go with or without. Now let's look at this print here. Um, I can't describe this fabric. It's like, it's a bit thick. It's not got color on the other side, just the one side. And then there's lace, beautiful crochet lace as well, not that itchy lace. Um, so, part of the print here. Got this one. This is, the, I think this is my favorite of the art series and this is my favorite my second favorite one where he's giving her the crown of his jaw then there is this one so those are our designs and then of course there is this right here um i don't know why it's coming out so blue on the camera, but this is a lot more darker and navy in person than I was expecting, but I'm kind of okay with that because I have a lot of navy items. But a lot of my navy items do show up much bluer in photographs. So yeah, this little print here. I love this <laughs> print so much because it is very gothic. Um... And it's got the themes of depression and 
mental health and all that stuff and I'm very passionate about those themes not in the sense of like glorifying them but in the sense that like I work in that sort of field so so beautiful I just can't get over how beautiful this is it's I okay the one thing I'm worried about is it being too short on me because I'm very tall but I'm hoping with the use of if I get if I wear a blouse under it I can kind of pull it shimmy it down lower on my bust here so that it could be a little bit longer um, also another detail it does have a side zip so once you figure out the lacing in the back you'll never have to undo that so the zip does go past the edge here so that you can get into the dress, side zip it up. Yeah. So the, bo the bottom is double layered. So you got your first layer here. And then you, we have our uh, like taffeta satiny layer like Hey Newly pretty much always does. The dull side toward the fabric and the softer side toward the skin so that if you wanted to wear this without a petticoat as a casual dress, you could. Um, not sure why you would wear a 200 and something dollar dress. Like how much did I pay for this? Like a 200 something dollar dress casually. I'm not sure why. So I'm gonna try this on and I'm gonna show you guys the warning, I'm not going to wear a blouse. You're probably going to see some bra strap. Lord love a duck that you might see bra strap. But I just want to see how this fits. And I'll tell you my measurements. So you kind of know this is the 2XL, the largest size. You'll get an idea of if it would fit you or not. Because knowing how popular this one seemed, uh, she may do... There's pockets! Ah! There's a pocket! <laughs> she may do a re-release is what I was going to say. There's a pocket! <laughs> Look! I was like, is there a hole in my dress? No, it's a fucking pocket, motherfuckers. Yeah, that's right. My dress is a pocket. What you want. And it doesn't on the other side because that's the side with the zip. So the side without a zip has a pocket. <laughs> Lolita dresses that put pockets in. Like, ah, Nunu, I love you. Like, this was... Oh, it's got a pocket. It's got a pocket, man. <laughs> If you are not female, you will understand, or if you're not female, if you are not female or you are female or a girl and don't wear women's clothes, if you don't wear women's clothes, here we go, that's an easier way to say it. If you don't wear women's clothes, you will understand, you do not understand why a pocket is so exciting. But there's a pocket, guys. There's a pocket. So I'll try this on in a sec, but I've got the accessory to unpackage, which I left in the box. I got the corsage with veil because I thought that would be a really cute accessory and it would go really well with a couple of the other dresses I have. For example, for Juliet, I have that one in navy and it's kind of got roses themes on it, so I think it would kind of work. So it's a black rose, or is that navy still? It looks black, but with the navy veil, it kind of looks navy. So it's kind of a corsage piece. So if I did like a high updo, or if I did a downdo, kind of brought some pieces back and put this in the back, it would look kind of cute. I've got my hair in a bun right now. But this is both a hairpin and a safety pin so like a brooch pin so you could wear it on your dress or I think this would be really cute like on like just underneath the rib cage of the dress kind of off the side just a little something there this is kind of a mesh netting material with polka dots in it and then the lace is navy as well or, yeah, the lace is navy and it's got rose print lace, like rose um, lace. And then this lace at the bottom is slightly larger. Let's see if I can get them side by side for a comparison. It is slightly larger than this lace. So this one's kind of just like the larger version of it. It's pretty much the same lace, just bigger. And then this lovely little flower, which is kind of rose-like, but not 100% a rose. And I do believe this is black. 
it's so hard to tell because on the video it does look like a dark navy, but I think it's because it's with this navy that it looks so navy-ish. But it is black. <laughs> it is black, I'm telling you. I'm so excited. I want to pair this dress with black. I'm thinking a black blouse, black cardigan, black lace tights um, with navy shoes to match the dress. And then having like navy accessories, navy and black. Um, when it comes to goth fashion, uh, well, gothic Lolita specifically, I love black, red, and navy going with it. And then in goth, I think that navy can be a color that works well, especially since it does, it does work well with black. You just have to be able to tell that what is navy and what is black. Because sometimes you look at something, you're like, that's navy, that ain't black. But yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to go and try on this dress and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I am in love with this dress, and it is super cute, and I'm totally wearing it a lot. Uh, so this is the, these are the straps. This is my bra. Don't mind that. <laughs> I'll be wearing a blouse with this. Um, in Lolita, out of Lolita, I probably would wear it with a strapless bra, honestly. Um, but in Lolita, I'll be wearing this with a blouse, uh, or at least a cut so. This is quite nice. It's not too bad on my bust, though it was like, what did it say the measurements were? So for this one, the size is 2X, bust 45 inches to 49 inches. My bust in a bra is 54 inches. And this isn't pulling that much. Like this, I, I did tighten the lacing a little bit tight. But honestly, this isn't too much to contend with or deal with. When this is 54 inches in what supposedly can only hold up to 49. The waist itself says 38 to 42 inches. My natural waist here is 43. Boop, boop. 43 inch there I'm I'm a very big human um the shoulder width it says 16.5 inches but obviously it's not an issue when it's such an open sized dress bodice length is 17.2 this is a bit shorter than I'd often get um so you can see what I'm doing um basically my natural waist is actually down here but it's up here but this looks okay it's far enough from my bust to not be an empire waist and I'm happy with that then the skirt circumference is 106 round the board it's gonna fit a petticoat um, basically with this dress my only thing is it is a little short um, for some people this would be the perfect length for their Lolita because they don't mind having a little bit of knee Whereas I'm six foot one, so I prefer a little bit less. <laughs> uh, I need a little bit longer, but I do have an underskirt from Hanula, Han Hanuli in navy. I'm gonna go get that and put it on underneath so you can see what that does to it. This is without it. So that is the length I have, a fair amount of above the knee showing. With a petticoat, it would probably be a bit much but I always wear underskirts so that's without the underskirt and this is with the underskirt so with the underskirt which is just a chiffon underskirt it does come down to my knee so once a petticoat's in there you won't see like the difference between like the underskirt and the skirt itself the dress itself once the petticoat's in it will just look like a little bit of chiffon flouncy material underneath so that's quite nice.
So as I said, I am in love with this dress and I give it 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Loving it. I love that I can kind of goth it up if I wanted to because I got the um, rib cage version. I can really quite goth this up. I like that I can remove these ribbons, put them inside so I can kind of go for a little bit less gothy look, like without the inverted star. So I like it a lot. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Did you buy this dress? If you did, which style did you get? Did you get the JSK like this? Did you get the other JSK? Did you get the skirt? Or <laughs> if you, and if you did, what color did you get? Did you get black, the purple, or the blue? Tell me in the comments below. If you didn't get it, would you want it now that you've seen it, especially on someone a little bigger? Like if you're a plus size Lolita, would you be interested in something like this? With how popular this was, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a re-release coming out. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!